Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be answering ICT paper 3, June 2016. So we'll be answering the question on database. So that's taxi. So let's scroll down to taxi. Okay. So yeah, wait. So that was 18 marks. This tax is based on data for supplies of some products made to customers in a city by some traders. You will be expected to extract information from table 2 to implement a database to hold information about suppliers made to these customers. Table 2, so they've given us a table. Then we can see the customer ID, customer name, customer supplier, product name, quantity, quantity unit price, trade name. Okay, A. Create three tables following the structure given below. The structure is given using the format the name of the table, primary key, field name, field name. The first customer. He has customer ID, customer name, customer surname. So how we do that? So just take this here, customer ID, customer name, customer surname. So that's just what we have to type there. So this is it. So this you write you you, you, you write down on your answer booklet. So you draw it like that. You have a customer name, customer yeah. So this is it. Okay, we'll go to the next. For for suppliers, we have customer ID, product name, and quantity. So for um, supplier, customer ID, product name, and quantity. So we say for for a customer ID, a customer one a, one customer ID can have about more than more than one product name, more than one quantity. So here we have for for the table we have one year, one sort, all this row. I have again one with soap, savon, four, one again sugar, twelve. Now two, flour, seven, three, salt, three, three, sugar, twenty, and so on. So as you can see here, so here's it. As you can see, that's how we had to do it. Um, Mm, wait, no, this is not it, it's not it. Here's it, yeah? Okay, here's it. So this is how we have to do it. Customer, ID, product name, and the quantity. So what can we observe? We can observe that we have um, the same customer ID for different product names and for different quantities. So that's why you can see it repeating here. Yes. So the next, um, the next was product name, unit price, and trade. That was the last. The same thing as um, sell suppliers. So that's it, yeah? Product name, unit price, and trade. So, this is what we had to write on your candidate booklet. Okay, if we're all there, we'll go to the next question. So, I've already represented the trade tables in the space provided here. So, I did mine on Excel. So, you have to copy it and put it in this space here that I've provided to you. You have to write all the tables there. B, create a database named shopping and save it in the candidate folder. So, to create a, a database, we we'll open access. We we'll go on our, on our start menu. We we'll type access. So, this is the access 2013. I open. So when it opens, I have this page. I take out a blank desktop because I want to create a database. And what was the name of the database? Shopping. So, so yeah, I put the shopping. So shopping, and I browse. I browse so that it should go to my candidate folder where I want to store it. My candidate folder is found in the desktop, and in the desktop is found in this video. I open the candidate folder and then I save it inside. Okay. So when I finish saving inside, I click on create. So I've created my database called what? Shopping, as you can see it here. I've created a database called Shopping and saved in what the candidate folder. As you can see, the link here, the URL, goes to the candidate folder. So we'll move to the next question. Define each table properties in the space below, showing the field name and the data type for each field name. So yeah, the one that for each table we give the field name and the data type. So I fully actually did it here. So I'll just show you guys. Here is it. So for customer, for customer we have customer ID. The data type is number. We have customer name, the data type is short text. We have cost, um, customer surname, the data type is short text. We we'll go to product. So for product, product name, short text, unit price, number, trade name, short text. Supplier. For supplier, we have customer ID number, product name, short text, quantity, number. So this is what the asking us to fill in this space is provided. So if we're there, we'll continue. They say create the three tables derived above in your database. Populate, pop populate each of the table created in the database with the data derived from the table in A above. So this is what create um, three tables. So yeah, I'll just show you how to create a table and I already have the others. So I'll just show you how to create a table. So this one, we don't need this one. We can delete this one. We can delete this. Okay. So to delete it, you need to be first close. So okay, how do we create a table? To create a table, we'll go to, the, we'll go to our, our menu up here. We'll click on create. And we'll take what table design. So we'll take table design. We'll ask us to enter what the field name and the data types. So we'll do the, we'll do the example for... We'll create a table for... We're using the example of customer. I, of customer. So for a customer, yeah, a customer has what? A customer has a customer... ID and the customer type ID. How is it? What is it? It's numbers. Take the numbers. And the customer also has a customer name. And the customer name is a text, so short text. And the customer also has a customer surname. Which is also a short text. 
So, um, which is the subject? So, as you can see, as you can see right up here, as you can see what they gave us up here. Um, let's go up. Yeah. So each key that is start is a primary key. If that no start, it's not a primary key. So yeah, customer ID is a primary key. So we'll make it to be a primary key. And how do we just make a primary key? So we select the, the field and we click on key. So that's it. Okay. So our primary key is customer ID. We click on it and click on what key. When we finish, we click on save. And here is what customer. Customer. And then we press OK. So it says we're going back to the data view by clicking here. So I'm not the data view. So we populate the table. You like field. And it's very easy to fill. Just enter in case. If case. In case. case is uh, is cell. And type your data and so on. Yeah. So I've already did it. I'll just. Okay, as I said for as I earlier said, when you when you finish from the when you finish from the design, you come to the you come to the data the data view and you enter your data. So as you can see here you enter, you do the same thing with the table for product and do the same thing for the table of suppliers. Okay? If we there, we'll move on to the next question. The next question says Create a relationship between the three tables. Draw the relationship diagram in the space below. Indicate the table name and the key and the keys that relate the table. So yeah, they asking us to create, a, to create a relationship between the three diagrams. So how do we create a relationship? Let's go back to the database. So yeah, so let's create a relationship. To create a relationship, you log first all the tables that are open. You come to database two. You click on relationship. Now we want to create a relationship for all the tables. So add, to add, you just select and click on add to add the table. When you finish adding the table, you close. Yes. Now okay. Let's see how this table related. Customer ID is related to suppliers through what the customer ID. So carry and drop. So yeah, we can't enforce integrity because they are, they are columns, they don't have the same values on the columns, so just leave like that. And yeah, how they related to product name. But yeah, they have the same, everything is the same, so enforce integrity. Yes, yeah, so have something like that, we can space them out. Just to verify our work. So, uh, on this world, we are going to, uh, to draw in the candidate folder. In the candidate folder, in the, um, in the answer sheet. And we just put the customer, the, cost, the name of the, of the name, and the field in which they are related. We we'll don't write the other fields. Yeah, just this and this. Yeah, we we'll move to the next question. By making a query, list all customers. Who were supplied? Who, so, who were supplied salt or and or sugar, and the quantity that were supplied, supplied, and the quantity that were supplied. You are, your query should also show the price of each product. Save the query as suppliers too. So yeah, which is um a query will require. A query will require. You say list all the customers. Neither the customers name. Neither we need the customers ID. The customer name. The customer surname. And we need also, we also need what the quantity, and we need what the price of each product. So let's go then. We also log this. How do we do to credit? Okay, let's save it. Okay. How do we do to create a query? We come to create. We take click on create query design. You add the table. So the table I'm adding is what the table for what customer and which other table. Where well, you say um by making a query list all the customers. Since I need the customer table, I add it and which other table the product. So I also add the product table. Then I close. So what am I what, what am I required to print and print all the, the, the customers? So I print their customer their name, their surname. And you say as you print all the, the list of all customers who were supplied salt. So you see I need a table. So as I've already logged that, if I need a table, I can just drag here. And drag and put here. Which is supply? Salt. Okay, salt is what? Um, salt is product name. Uh -huh. And also there are quantity. We also need the quantity. You say, um, and the price, not the quantity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the quantity, we also need the quantity. Then the unit price. So now they get the criteria, just those that had what salt and what just those that supplied um salt and sugar. So that's on our product name. We'll come under product name and put what salt or salt or sugar. Yeah, we need to make sure that's typed correctly. If you're not typed correctly, yeah, it can be step. So if we're there, we'll finish here, we'll run it. So yes, it, it displays only the customers who bought what salt and sugar, as you can see here, and also displays their quantity with what their unit price. So now they told us to save to save to click up here. So we should save the query as supply supplies. So, so when I finish, I press OK. So now print your query. To print your query, you just do a screenshot of it and you paste in Microsoft Word, and from there you print. Print the customer table. Also print the same way. You, you screenshot, you go on Windows or uh, Microsoft Word, and you paste using Control V, and you print from there. So that was the end. That was all about database in 2016. So please, if you like some, if you if you learn something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe for new coming videos, and you can also share it to your friends if you, if you can help your friends too. So have to subscribe the A grades. You can also share with them. And if you have any comment, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. And this question, the link of this question paper, you can get this question paper on the link below this video. Yeah, thank you for.